Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use this hook, which is hook entity operation in your custom module. So this hook will help you to create a new operation for any entities. And now I'm going to create a operation for a node. So let me tell you how to do that. Before that, I will explain. So first I created a custom module. And for that custom module, I created a root of node slash node id slash title. So for node, I am using a param converter. If you don't know what is param converter, you can go and check my videos. I have posted a video regarding this already. And uh, node and node id will be coming here and title. So this will be calling to a function called build in this controller. So this is the controller and build function here. What I'm doing, I'm just returning the title of a node here. And if that is not there, the page is not found. That's what I'm doing here. And next, uh, if you go to your uh, site and here when you click on title, so this is the path. Here you can see node slash nodes, uh, node ID slash title. This is, the, this is the path which I created and this is the title of the node and it is getting written as we written in the code. So now I will tell you how to create a new operation. So by default, we will be having a edit, delete. If you have a multilingual website, you will be having a translate operation here. And now I am going to uh, tell you how to create a new custom operation for a node. So here I created a title. So what I have done in a module file, I just implemented that hook, hook entity operation and argument will be entity. So namespace included as per our need. And then here in operations, first I'm going to create an operation. This will be working only for nodes, not for other entity. So first I'm checking whether the uh, particular entity is node or not. If it is not a node, I'm just returning the empty operation. So uh, not node means if it is a taxonomy term or block content or comment, whatever, this will not work. So the operations will be returned empty or else what will happen? I'm just first getting the node URL. So if this is actually you are not title. So here I'm using a class called URL to get the path, uh, path of a root name. So this is the root name which I'm using in my con uh, routing file for a controller. Okay. And for that I have to pass the node ID. So here I will get an entity. So from entity I will get a node ID. So I am passing that node ID as an argument to this particular root. So in node URL, I will be getting a complete URL of a path. And then next, I am creating a new operation. And you have to give some unique name for your operations. And then I am declaring an array. So whatever title you want to give, you can give. And next one is wait. Wait represent in which order the operation should come. It should come before edit, after edit, or after delete. So you can give whatever you want. So based upon the way, the arrangement will happen for the operations. And then in a URL, I'm passing the complete URL here. And uh, I'm just returning the operations. Once this is done, so since you create a new hook, you just need to clear the catch. Once you clear the catch, when you go and refresh this page, you will be able to see a new operation and you can click on it and you can check whether that is working properly or not. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.